Welcome to another session of Yoga with Joey. Let's get started. Uh, let's start in standing pose. Legs hip distance apart. Bring your hands to prayer position. Breathe in. Back bend. Maybe you can make it a little deeper. A little bit more. A little bit more. Come out the same way. Forward fold. Press your belly to be tight and let your head go. You can have your knees as much bent as you want to. And then from there you can slowly try to straighten it out. Step or hop back. Up dog, down dog. Right leg up, right leg forward, low lunge and lift your lunge. Left leg meets right leg. Forward fold, lift your torso, come into a reverse L shape, forward fold again, step or hop back, up dog, down, left leg up, left leg forward, low lunge, Right leg meets left leg, forward fold. Lift your torso. Forward fold again. Get up one vertebra at a time. Add a little bit of side stretch. Side stretch on the other side. Full body stretch. Come back out. Open your legs. Come to an open legged forward fold. Let your head hang. Touch your left hand on the ground or left palm on the ground and open your right side. Touch the right hand on the ground and open your left side. From here, side lunges. Something is making baby upset. Who knows how long I can do yoga, hopefully. No longer than three minutes mark. Side stretch or side lunge. Face forward, bringing yourself to a triangle or sorry, actually pyramid, not triangle. So we're in pyramid. Bring yourself. Uh, or take your hand behind to come to a reverse namaste. Leading with your chest, fold forward on top of your front leg. This is nice. Maybe you can put your hands down. Put both hands down. And then if your left leg is up, take your left hand up. Coming to a revolving pyramid. You can put your hand that is down on either side of your leg. Now bring yourself back to plank. Down dog. Left leg up. Left leg forward. To come 
come to pyramid come to reverse namaste and leading with your chest fall forward should i get this side already so i'm gonna switch my leg and come to fall now touch your hand to the ground come to a revolving pyramid Come back to plank, up dog, down, actually we are in down dog, down dog, right leg up, uh, right leg forward outside of your hands, which brings it to a Lizard lunge. So we're in lizard lunge. You, you have two options here. You can either keep your knees up and just rock and roll here. Or you can put your knees down. Try to open your foot to face the sky and recline. Come out. Uh, here you have a bunch of choices. You can either just stay here or take your arms out or hold a bind. Or come join me in an arm balance. You can stop in any of those three things that I said. But joining me in arm balance. This is Ekapada Kundanyasana. From here, come back to down dog. From down dog, left leg up. Left leg forward. Left leg outside of your hands you have a few choices here you can just rock and roll with your knee lifted or knee down open your hips uh, by opening the face of your foot to face the sky Gives a good opening to your hip flexors and then recline. Nice. All right. Uh, you can stay there. You can lift your torso up like me. Or you can take your hands out in both sides. This side I can't, but you can take a bind as well. Or the last one is arm balance. If you're working on an arm balance, you can join me here. This is Ekapada Kundanyasana. Um, named after a sage. Kundani, I think. Could be Kundan. I'm not 100% sure, but I know it's named after a sage. Highly chance that it's Sage Kundani. High likelihood. Alright. Uh, the way I'm putting myself in, you probably can already figure out. I'm trying to add a back bend in camel pose. We are seated in Virasana. Take the fleshy part of your shin out if it's disturbing you. 
I'm gonna move it forward so I can recline. Can stop anywhere, and you want to. Come out. We are going to come to foot pose. Arms out, legs extended. Let's do hover and lift. Hover and lift. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bring yourself down to the mat, legs up. Um, if your hips are sensitive, you can put the back of your palm under your hip bones. And then you can do uh, leg lifts. So we're gonna go down all the way to hover and up. Uh, I personally don't like the palms, but it does make it easier to Three, do not use momentum, rather engage your lower abs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. I do not have block hair, so I'm gonna skip waking up my outer thighs. Come to figure four and just hold your shin and press it against your chest. try firefly if you don't want to try i'll give you an option so we're gonna hold figure four in seated uh, this is working on our upper thigh back of our upper thigh and contributor hip opening and you can just stay here if you want to try firefly with me i'll also show you how to but yeah you can just stop here have your chest open and relax and enjoy that hip opening Otherwise, we will try to go to um, Firefly. So question is, which direction I should go? And in this direction, so I can. So you're still in figure four, but you put your torso sideways so your thighs can technically rest on your upper arms but also the foot is resting on your upper arm and you're gonna get a lift. I need to tie my hair and try. That was firefly. Not my best attempt, but I'll take it. All right, let's do the other side. Similar to that, we're gonna hold a figure four and we can just stay here and enjoy and watch me 
make a fool of myself or you can make a fool of yourself as well by joining me yes so you can see right i'm trying to put the foot on my upper arm i'm gonna try to carry the weight there and then align my thighs or two thigh and get a lift and then stretch this leg That's five. All right. Let's bring ourselves to what do you call this? Badaganasana. Uh, you know, if you're somewhere here, that's completely fine. Let's do little butterfly here. Uh, yeah, you sometimes say buzz your wings like a bee. You can also think of yourself as a butterfly. You're all, well, whether it's a guy or a girl, you can be a butterfly, it doesn't matter. And then we flap our wings nicely. Okay. All right. From here, we are going to come to Janu Sirsasana. I feel like I've not done Janu Sirsasana in a very, very long time. So we are going to do the Janu Sirsasana. Other side. Uh, we are actually not pulling down, so that's why I'm not putting too much emphasis. So I'm continuing this. We're gonna go back in a split second and be active again. Yeah, my heart rate is really not picking up today because you know we're not doing any cardio. It's so under 100. All right. So we are back to down dog. do something special let's see maybe we'll just do warrior first so right leg up right leg forward actually let's do a little switch lunges so bring ourselves in a lunge so my back leg i'm on tiptoes right so let's do switch lunges ourselves up and then actually come to a twist you can open your arms or bind or you can lose balance like me hopefully not but I keep emphasizing come face forward no lunge losing balance is not bad at all it's a good thing so I mean, I'm yet to master it and I still need to try and I'm trying. All right. Um, so we're in half Hanumanasana. Taking to full Hanumanasana. Switch lunges ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring your torso up lunge to lunge twist to prayer twist to open arm to bind come to low lunge come to 
Any more yet, did we? We did pyramids, so I think that's good enough. We're gonna do now cool down in style with a lot of fun poses. So bring your yourself in a spinal twist. Yeah, like this ties just because of the contrast. I think you can make out what I'm planning to do. It's not like black and black, and you know, it's hard to figure out what I'm trying to do. Right, arms up, twist and rotation of your spine, look back, you can hold a bind or not. Come face forward, switch your leg. Arms straight up, open your chest, bind. You realize we haven't done any inversion, so we're gonna just do a quick inversion. Um, you can put your legs up on the wall as well if you don't want to try this. We're gonna pinch more asana. So bring yourself to dolphin, squeeze your arms, get out of your shoulders, squeeze your belly, breathe in, look up. Not look up, sorry, look forward. One more time. All right, we're gonna continue with our cooling. Bring yourself to double pigeon. It's funny how I say bring yourself to. Who else can you bring really to? Maybe your children or partner or your friend. But yeah. Uh, at least we have control over ourselves in some form. All right, so we're in double pigeon. Add a gentle rotation in double pigeon. Face forward and recline. Come up. Switch your leg. Pull forward. Come up, add a gentle rotation. Nice. We are gonna, going to try coming to a transverse split, which is open your leg sideways as much as you can, keeping your legs active. Sort of come out and come to gate pose. So be on your one knee and stretch your sides. Come to supported Vasistasana to full Vasistasana. Coming to plank. Right leg to right arm, right leg to nose, right leg to left arm. And take it out. Coming back to plank. We are going to do gate pose or tarangasana on the other side. Actually, first this, and then supported vasistasana to full vasistasana. Plank, left leg to left arm, left leg to nose, left leg to right arm, 
and then take it out. All right. Come to all fours. Cat cow, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come to child's pose. Let's try to see if we can do Mayurasana, Mayura, Peacock. Um, and if you don't want to do Peacock, just bring yourself to uh, all fours and have your palms facing backwards like this. And stay here and watch me doing some weird pose. If you want to join me in Mayura, you want to put both of your elbows at your navel, dig in. Don't do it if you just have navel, by the way. Or if you have period elbow in this pose, because it puts a lot of pressure on your belly, which you don't want, I'm sure, uh, after your meal or First we will be period at least. All right, let's come to uh, come on our back. If you didn't do any of the inversions, now is your time to redeem yourself by just putting your legs up. And now we are going to come to Bridge pose. In bridge pose, let's lift one of our legs and kick. One, two, three, four, five. Let's kick the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Nice, come down. Damn. Can I believe it? This is not even my first yoga to this, like my second yoga. I should just take a sannyas and like go live in Himalaya and do yoga all the time. <laughs> all right, so we are out of that. Oh, it's not bad. I actually enjoy doing yoga. You probably can tell. And now we are going to come to shoulder stand to Havasana. Rolling out to fish pose. Come out. Supine twist. Have you thought of it? Like, actually I have to put some thought process to make sure it, uh, the million classes I take are not the same. I have to keep changing my routine. Otherwise I'll find it boring and I'll be like, I can't do this anymore. Right, so I have to keep entertaining myself. Uh, super interesting from the other side. The, one of the reasons why there are advanced poses is because, you know, you can actually get the same benefit doing beginner poses, but then it gets so boring, you probably don't want to. You're doing the same thing every day. If you have advanced poses, you know, it gives you a goal and a practice that you can keep trying to improve at. All right. Come extend your body to Savasana. like sleeping they have to relax from the yoga coming to your favorite side to fetal pose excellent job everybody thursdays are busy for me especially at work so you know if you have managed time on thursday i think we did a splendid job right so yeah all right we're gonna close our practice with a round of home breathing Oh. Thank you everybody for joining me. See you guys in the next class. Subscribe to my channel. Bye.